So this is the pull-off. There's the sign. The signs are right there, and we missed it because, you know, all these vehicles parked here. Yeah, including, you know, construction equipment. I was not expecting that. Oh, so this is the parking, but the trail is that way? Oh, is this the right? trail? Looks a that looks trend. nicer. That's all thorny. No, thank you. I guess this is the trail. I don't know. This is awfully mushy. I am so lost already. <laughs> I'm lost before we even begin. There should be a trailhead thingy though. And when it showed that, that arrow, I think this is not the trailhead. I don't know. I think it's further up. Maybe but there will be a, like a trailhead thing with a map thing, you know? Right, and then right. there would also be uh, oh, marked right. trees. And there's no trees that are marked here. We like to do a good demonstration here of what not to do. So we parked over there. This is the trail to the trailhead. It was really quite simple. We just didn't see it. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I said that's what I was looking for. And see, I was also looking for trail markers like this. So we are here. The one we passed earlier on the way in is here. And... Overlook. Is the thick. overlook is yeah, super short height to the overlook. There's a f waterfall somewhere, but I kind of doubt that we'll get to it. It's probably one of these, I'm guessing, since the Ridge. creeks run off there. But we can check that out, maybe. We'll see. We survived the hike <laughs> to the trailhead. <laughs> Which I don't recommend, by the way. We're a crazy adventure. Definitely don't recommend the hike to the trailhead. Um, <laughs> through the, yeah, through the smushy woods and thorny, might I say thorny, very thorny. Yeah, don't, don't recommend it. I hope you're ready for mud. And this is why I got hiking boots. I was like, is this like a big gaping hole, but it's not. So we can go down this if we wanted to and across. But as you can see, there's like a drop off over there and a drop off over there. And my shadow, hi, <laughs> everybody wave. <laughs> Safe. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's not go down there, guys. Not that you were tempted to or anything, but wow. I don't see the water, but I think it's in that crevice right there. That's what it sounds like.
it's not, that overlook's not really for, it's more of a natural view of the nature yeah, side. Yeah. It's not the city side, which yeah, I already we, knew we that. Water, but, we can't see it. Yeah, the water's way down there because we're on top of the mountain. I can tell we're going uphill now. <laughs> yeah, we're traversing down now. Last time I was here, we turned around up there a little ways. So, haven't been down here yet. Oh, the trail goes that way. I'm glad I'm paying attention to this now. Trail markers and stuff. Or it can go that way, depending on where you want to go. So, part of the Rock Creek round, or loop round trip. Totally read that wrong. So, Cumberland Trail goes that way. The way we came from is to the Rock Creek Overlook. Like a branch in Upper Rock Creek. Okay, that makes sense. So do we want to do Cumberland Trail, or do we want to do the Rock Creek Loop? I'm pretty sure we want to do the Cumberland Trail. That's the way that I want to go. Because that's where, that is what will take us to, like the bridges and the waterfalls and all the fun stuff. You can hear the creek. Oh, you can see some of the water. See the white right there? That is the creek. Um, I don't know about this, guys. Look at this bridge. It's held up by a pile of rocks that are, like, sort of held together by, like, fencing. I don't... Mm. Let me know in the comments below, would you cross this bridge? <laughs> but this is... this is something else. Well, here goes nothing! <laughs> even... even the wood itself is held together by chicken wire. Oh my goodness. This is terrifying. I'm glad there's a handrail to touch. <laughs> Not really, hold on to. Okay, there's the middle part that's scary. Okay. That wasn't so bad. We made it. Or, I made it. Wow. That is... Yeah, that is scary. <laughs> That is going on the list of one of the scariest things I've done. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't too bad, but stuff people will do. So, we've reached another creek crossing. I'm glad this didn't happen to our bridge when we crossed it. That would have been terrifying. But now, now you see why I was scared to cross that other bridge. So now we're seeing about crossing the creek, because we'll see, see how this goes. You know how I feel about rocks. Oh, these, these are pretty big rocks, but this is right here. This is scary. This rock is moving a lot. Uh, maybe I should have gone that way. Uh, oh, goodness. Uh, oh, especially with my knees, the way they are. Okay. Okay. We made it. We made it. Um... 
And I don't care about getting my feet in the water a little bit because I have waterproof boots, so. <laughs> yeah. Anyone want to take the bridge? I guess it came, went from there to there, maybe. It didn't last very long. And I'm wondering how long it'll take for the other bridge to do the same. Now I'm kind of scared to go back, honestly. For that reason alone. Actually, oh wait, no, the bridge came from here. It came from this pile of rocks and went over there. So I went this and went this direction. But the wood finally rotted that is the base of it. There's like little trickles of waterfall up there and this place is pretty cool. Apart from that. <laughs> Scary. I made it across. Or well we made it. She doesn't have as much issues with creek crossings as I do, so <laughs> And that. It's like right after the bridge. Just like right back there. We come across this. The trail just instantly gets more difficult. <laughs> I guess if you're not brave enough to cross the creek, then it's okay because you're not going to reach this part of the trail anyways. But of course, I would only cross that creek if the water level was reasonable because those rocks can be very slippery. We have made it to yet another creek crossing, but this one's a lot smaller, as you can see. No bridge needed here. However, there was a tree that fell down, and they a hole out of it so you can continue on the trail. I think that's so funny. But yeah, there's the trail we came from and the trail continues on that way. But we have to go through the tree. I really appreciate that. If you've been following me for a while in my hiking videos, you know that I've come across a lot of fallen trees and they're up there for me with crossing over rocks. Like they're so difficult <laughs> for me. So this huge tree, I love that they actually cut a huge notch out of it for much easier passage. Like, I could have climbed over it if I had to, but that just, that makes my day. <laughs> it's so much easier that way. That was actually a little more difficult. They cut through that big tree for us and they couldn't chop this one down. Just kidding. It's, it's not a big deal. Okay. <laughs> that one's probably a fresher fall than the other one was. You can see the creek. this. This is insane. Wow, this is beautiful. Definitely gonna have to get your feet wet on this, though. As usual, editing Amanda here. <laughs> I didn't close out this video just because I... I guess because I was really tired. I can't remember. I think it was because I was really tired and my head was starting to hurt because of allergies. And it's like the first time that I had gotten out in like over a month. So my body was just like, this was too much for me. <laughs> it, I didn't like ease back into it. This was like full blown 
going into hiking as if I had been hiking every weekend like I had before, but I had had a month off, so my body was not used to it. Anyways, I just kind of want to sum things up and say that overall this hike was challenging in the fact that it was like up, down, up, down, because it's like you go down to start out, and then it's pretty flat, and then it goes up a little bit more, like, towards the end, like, past the waterfall. It was, like, sort of going up. And then we're, like, we should probably turn around soon because we were running out of time and stuff. So we decided to just go ahead and turn around at that point. It went down after the waterfall. So then it was, like, when we decided to turn around, we had to go back up. And then at the very end, you have to go back up, of course. And that's, like, the hardest part is that end part because it's the switchbacks and steep ups on the switchbacks like it'll take it out of you because <laughs> it's like just gradually up on the switchbacks and then when you turn it's like five steps up and then like gradual up and then five steps up so it's a lot if you're not used to it other than like the sketchy bridges I would say this hike is really for anyone uh just proceed with caution on that and then also the point where it's easy to lose a trail at that one creek. I did it on the way back. I tried to go past it, past the trail, and my friend pointed it out to me. And then, like, on the way down there, I always get lost, too. So just keep in mind that once you reach that creek, you gotta turn left to continue down the trail. And it's rocks. And then coming back, remember to turn right onto the trail and don't continue up the rocks too far. Uh, other than that, it's easy to stay on the trail. Pretty easy to follow. Definitely recommend this hike. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And comment down below if you've been on this hike. If you can't wait and you're looking forward to go on this hike now. Uh, I absolutely love that waterfall. It's like one of the most unique waterfalls I've ever seen. Just how the, the trail crosses it too. Like, it's crazy. That's pretty much it. So I will see y'all next week.